All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Today, we're going to start a playthrough of the game Pikmin for GameCube. Okay, this is going to be a very weird. <laughs> it's going to be a very weird scenario uh, because I'm recording the entire thing all at once. I know for a fact that if I put this game down for more than an hour, I'm going to forget what I want to do next. And we don't have time for that. We really do not have time for me to be forgetting stuff and researching later. So I want to beat this game and I want to beat it in one sitting. Let's go. Uh, for those of you who don't know about Pikmin, I'll explain what's happening in this first episode. But after that, like I said, we ain't got time. We ain't got time, so we're going to be moving quickly, okay? <laughs> and this is going to be what it's like to, like, sit and play a video game with me. Like, to actually sit. Like, I'm going to be doing a lot less of the wacky, goofy commentary, or at least I think I will be. So here's the story for those of you not familiar with what goes on in the world of Pikmin. Here we can see it's a spaceship led by the wonderful Captain Olimar. An asteroid on a collision course with such a spaceship could only end in turmoil. The spaceship is making its fall towards a grand planet. Upon entering the atmosphere, pieces of the ship fall from the ship. My name is Captain Olimar. While traveling through space, my ship was struck by a meteor. I must have blacked out, and I awoke on the surface of a weird planet. With so many parts lost, the skull to hole of my beloved dolphin is a painful sight. The engine is gone. I'm stranded. To make matters worse, my atmospheric sensors indicate this planet's environment contains high levels of poisonous oxygen. My life support systems can function for only 30 days. If I can't repair the dolphin by then, no, better not to think about it. I must find the missing ship parts. Okay, let's give this another run. Uh, everything keeps crashing as I try and record this. <laughs> let's see. I'm going I'm to skip to the, the meat of the story, and then I'll give you my anecdotes later. A strange thing has appeared before me. I had barely begun my search when it reared up as if it were waiting for me. It then dropped a single seed. What is it? Is it alive? Is it a machine? It resembles a vegetable on my home planet that we call an onion. I shall call this an onion too. Okay. Uh, so let's see. Where to begin? Uh, this game has a limit, a time limit of 30 days. It takes 30 in-game days to finish this game at most. Uh, if you don't beat it in 30 days, then you lose. It's, it's not that. It's not one of those Nintendo games. <laughs> Uh, every day except for the first day has a time limit of about 13 minutes. Uh, it'd be 13 minutes for an in-game day to pass. The first day is as long as you need so that you can figure out the controls. The seed that the onion dropped took root in the soil and has now produced an adorable little sprout. This sprout emits a strange light and it sways back and forth without benefit of wind. I cannot help but think it is calling to me. I am compelled. I must approach it and press A. And that's just what we're going to do.
extraordinary. When I plucked the sprout, it turned out to be a living creature, not a plant. Picking it up has done no visible damage. It just stands there, staring at me. Its shape is similar to the Pikpik brand carrots I love so much. I believe I shall call it a Pikmin. Here I am, stranded on a toxic planet, fighting to survive, and yet, I'm intrigued. I must research this fascinating creature. I shall try to grab it and throw it with A, and I will call it to my side with B. Hmm. Perhaps C, or perhaps it will react to C and X as well. The following controls appear to allow me several viewpoints. L to rotate camera, R to zoom in and out, Z to change angle. I must survive. I need to familiarize myself with these controls and my surroundings. Okay, so this is a Pikmin. Uh, the Pikmin is an amazing creature that will help us survive on this planet. You see this one little Pikmin that I have here? It is represented by the number down here at the bottom of the screen. The very first one says that I have one Pikmin with me. The second number says that there is one Pikmin in this world. There is one Pikmin in this area where I currently am on this planet. And then the second, I'm sorry, the third number says that there are one Pikmin, there is one Pikmin, in my entire collection of all the Pikmin that I have. Uh, the first two numbers at most can be 100, but the second number can go all the way up to nine, uh, 9,999. Astonishing. The onion has sown more seeds. The small red pellet the Pikmin harvested after cutting down a flower appears to be some kind of or some type of food that the that can propagate more Pikmin. The onion seems to be a sort of incubator. Needless to say, I must study this strange life form more. Okay. So if it wasn't entirely clear, the number on the flower, or on that pellet rather, is how many of my wonderful, wonderful Pikmin is going to take to carry said pellet. The number on top is how many I need, that blue number, and then the red number is how many Pikmin I have carrying the pellet. All right. So you can see the Pikmin follows me. Uh, if I use the C-Stick, I can direct the Pikmin to move in certain directions. And then that cursor is where the Pikmin will land if I throw the Pikmin. Also, I can call the Pikmin back. If you notice, the Pikmin loses color once I throw it and it's doing nothing. It's because it's what's called idle. It hasn't been given any direction. It gains that color back once I uh, uh, recall it back to me, I guess. All right, so now we have five Pikmin with us. There's five Pikmin in this world all together. And then there's five Pikmin in my collection all together. Uh, I'm going to need these Pikmin in order to do things. For example, you can see here on this pellet that there is a five. Ignore the flies, they don't really matter. If I throw one Pikmin to that pellet, he ain't gonna be able to carry it. It's five times the size of the, this pellet here, the other pellets we've been carrying. The number on top is how many Pikmin I need to carry it. So if I throw four more, they will get to work. They will get to work. The entire game is about management. It's about resource management. But it's way more about time management. Again, uh, past the first day, I only have about 13 minutes for each day. And I have to find the parts of the ship or else I'm not going to make it. Or else I'm not going to make it. And that, ladies and gentlemen, would suck. <laughs> That'd be trash. All right. So all the wonderful big men have carried that back while they while these pellets here rest in the ground i can go out and do other things i don't have to immediately carry or get all the pikmin with me they can hang out there for a while what i'll do is i'll send two pikmin up here they'll take it down pretty quickly oh they're not smart enough to grab it themselves though now i'm not limited by the number on top i can most cases put more pikmin on than need to carry it uh, but two is the limit here. So these two Pikmin will carry this one twice as fast as if I only had one Pikmin carrying it. You can see the difference. The difference is actually really noticeable. It's really noticeable. 
All right, so let's get these Pikmin out the ground. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go. When I'm pulling Pikmin from the ground, if I'm pulling more than one, I can rapid tap A. And it will, it will pull them out until I stop tapping it. All right, so now we have 12 Pikmin. Now we have 12 Pikmin. Let's zoom back out. I like this view better than anything else because it lets me see things in the world. For example, this carton, whatever this carton may be, uh, it has a 10 on it. So that most likely means I need at least 10 Pikmin. Y'all boys get to work. Because it's a cutscene, it stopped me as soon as I had 10. Normally, you can you can put more, uh, more than the required amount on something. The Pikmin are as curious as children. They form groups to perform tasks that would be impossible for an individual. A glimmer of hope has begun to shine in my heart. If I can make use of their skills, perhaps I can fix my ship. I shall sum up all I've learned of Pikmin conduct. Approach and press A to pick sprouts. Press A to grab Pikmin. Release to throw. Press B to call them. X to dismiss. Use C to command them and control the group. L, R, and Z control perspective. I should record all of this in my computer. I can press Y to access the computer. All right, so those are all idle. They've completed the task that I have given them. Let's call them back. Amazing. There's no mistaking it. My ship's engine rests before my very eyes. By a stroke of pure luck, I have already stumbled upon the most important part of my damaged craft. Fate has smiled upon me, but how will I get it back to the dolphin? All right, obviously I can't carry that myself. I'm going to need the help of the Pikmin, but we're not going to do that yet. As soon as you get this piece back to the ship, the first day is over, and then you begin the time crunch. Uh, let's, like I said, it's all about time management, using things to the best of your ability. And so we're going to use this time now to gather more Pikmin, to bring more Pikmin about our crew. Uh, let's move this big one. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. All right. So we can put two here. Actually, we can put one more here. There we go. So we can move it just a little bit faster. And then we can get this one up here as well. I want to make as many Pikmin as possible because once this time crunch starts, we're going. We're going. Uh, like I said, I've recorded. I've tried to record just this one day three times now. Uh, so, like, I don't remember everything that I said, so I'll say this again. Uh, this first day has been pretty lax, but after this day, I'm going to be playing this like I'm actually playing. I'm not going to be making a lot of goofy noises and doing a whole bunch of side stuff, because like I said, this is a time crunch. This entire game, this entire playthrough is a time crunch. You have to get at least 25 pieces of the ship back in order to, uh... To, to beat the game if you get all 30 that's a perfect playthrough if you get all 30 pieces within 30 days within the end of the 30th day you've done a perfect playthrough so I'm, I'm not gonna i won't say i'm not gonna be entertaining i'm not gonna do my commentary but i'm gonna it's gonna be a time crunch and i mean that i mean that when many pikmin seeds sprout at once I find it rather tedious to pluck them from the ground individually. My wife always told me I was no good at routine tasks. I guess I'll try to get it all done at once by repeatedly tapping A until I pick all the Pikmin from the ground. I've noticed that when I add Pikmin to my group, they become filled with excitement and flushed with bright color. At times, they revert to a paler hue and give off a dim glow. Paying close attention to these differences is bound to help me distinguish between Pikmin. Basically, it's just saying the bit about uh, what I said with them being idle. It just means that they, they've completed their task or I've messed up a throw. Okay, 23 Pikmin rolling with us. I have no idea how many Pikmin I need to carry... Uh, this this engine but i know that the game won't allow me to not have enough pikmin for that 
So let's see. Is there anything in here before we go? I don't remember. Like a, a lot of what this game does is hide stuff. So if you're not if you're not truly adventurizing, which is something we're good at, if you're not truly adventurizing, you will miss out on a lot of stuff. And missing too much can actually cost you the game. Let's see. There's nothing else up here for us, right? All right, we've done everything that we can do in this first day, and I think we've done it damn well, too. We've got three more Pikmin than we need to carry this here. Let's see, I'll zoom in as we watch them. You can see them all working together. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of you. I know we all just became friends, but I'm proud of you on this day. I don't know why I thought they were going to bring that to the Onion. They're clearly going to take the ship part to the ship. Clearly. Okay, I've done the math very quickly. Uh, roughly 30 days in roughly 13 minutes, that's going to be about 7 hours. I think I, could, I think I could sit here and play through this game in 7 hours. Uh, again, I don't remember what all I've said in this playthrough, but I know for a fact if I do this in different sessions, I'm not going to be able to remember what I need to do next. Again, it's all about management and planning. I, I know I won't know what to do next if I leave this and come back. All right, the ship ain't complete, but it's functional, and that's what we need right now. Oh, glorious. With the help of these Pikmin, I have taken a huge step back toward home. My ship can once again lift off. The glimmer of hope is beginning to burn more brightly. But what has become of the remaining parts? That search starts tomorrow. Okay, so each day will end with nightfall. What Olimar will do is send all of the Pikmin under his control back to the Onion. They can't stay out at night, especially if I'm not staying here. They are helpless. They are helpless, and I am helpless. So I send them back to the Onion, and I take off. Huh. It seems as though the onion is going to come with me. That's weird. One day since impact. I have somehow managed to launch the dolphin. But I was surprised to see the onion lift off with me. Perhaps the Pikmin cannot survive overnight on the planet's surface. Or have they merely decided to join me for other reasons? Either way, it seems they will help me again tomorrow. The dolphin is missing 29 parts. If I can't recover them all, I may never return home to my family on planet Hakutate. Analysis shows life support systems will function for only 29 more days. How can I repair my dolphin in such a short time? A dense forest is visible on the surface below. As it holds the keys to my survival, I shall name it the Forest of Hope. I explore it tomorrow. Okay. So it gives us an overview, a chart look at our entire day. Uh, from start to finish, you can see a scale of how many Pikmin that I've uh, that we've we've created. Uh, sprouted twenty three, total twenty three. Good. Lost in battle zero, total zero. Good. So we didn't lose any in battle. Left behind zero, total zero. Okay, so lost in battle and left behind. Obviously, this game ain't just about making Pikmin. There's going to be enemies, and we're going to have to be careful because our Pikmin... Listen, for all intents and purposes, we're going to lose Pikmin. We are going to lose Pikmin, okay? That can't be helped, but I don't want that number to get too high. Left behind, however, that's something that we can completely control. If Pikmin are idle out in the field at the end of the day, and I don't bring them back, they will be left behind, and they will die. They will die. That's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do about that, okay? Uh, as you can see on the bottom of the screen, the one besides the ship tells us how many parts that we have found. Parts remaining, 29. We still got 29 more parts to find. And then days remaining, 29. I don't remember if I've said this or not, but uh, we really only have to get 25 different parts in order to make it safely off the planet. If we can get 25 parts total, we'll be fine. 30 parts is a perfect playthrough of the game. If we get 30 different parts, then we have got every single part. 
Every day ends with us saving, and every day will begin with us landing on a planet. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're ready for this adventure. I'm ready. I've, I've actually put this game off for a long time. I want to make sure everything was rip-roaring and ready to go. And we're here now. <sighs> I hope you guys are ready. Let's do this.